Hi folks, in this video I'm going to go through how you go about finding AX Power Restore missions and more specifically those missions that feature Revenant Thargoid drones. I'll tell you what kit you'll need, what to expect when you're engaged in the missions and how to survive the missions. I'll also tell you how you can use these missions and more specifically the settlements that they send you to to gain some significant combat rank. The first thing you're going to need to do is find what the game refers to as a Thargoid War Counter Strike system. If you use the Thargoid War filter on the galaxy map you can easily see these systems identified with a purple arrow above them pointing to the right. These are frontline systems in the fight against the Thargoids where humanity is attempting to push back and gain some ground. Once you've identified the counter strike systems look them up on Inara and search for a system that shows military as part of the systems economy. Once you find one search down the list of settlements and you should find plenty of military flavoured odyssey settlements that are shown as abandoned. These are the sites that will spawn revenant drones and the associated AX restore missions in a nearby system. To find the restore missions look for a nearby system on the galaxy map that is in a state of Thargoid alert. These will be shown in yellow when you use the Thargoid war filter. Click through them until you find a nearby populated system with starports or outposts in it and it's here that you'll find the missions. Pick a mission that is sending you to a military installation in the target system and you're good to go. So having picked up a mission and identified where we need to go here we are arriving in the system. I love how these planets look in Odyssey now. They're gorgeous. Um, there's a number of ways you can um, approach the site. This ship is actually um, has missiles fitted so I could take the revenants out that are already there from the ship if I so choose. Um, I didn't on this particular occasion but it's up to you what you feel most comfortable with really. I'd highly recommend you have as fast a ship as humanly possible. That will help in the insertion but also um, when, you, um, when you exit the site at the end of your session. And you'll need some strong shields as well. If you're going to let the Revenants shoot at your ship uh, as I chose to do um, I'd highly recommend very strong shields. So they generally don't like you approaching um, beyond sort of about a kilometer um, when you're in a ship. Um, if you if you use the terrain as I do here to mask your approach as much as possible, um, you can get quite close. Um, it gets a, it's 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 not clean by any stretch of the imagination, as you'll see, but you can get it just saves a bit of walking really. But you can get quite close. So you're about to see a really dirty combat landing. Um, I'm within sort of half a kilometre at this point. They're going to be acutely aware that I'm here. They're firing at me already. <laughs> and as soon as I'm clear of the ship I dismiss it. Which then means they can't shoot at that anymore. They will however now shoot at me. You are quite a small target though. As long as you don't stand still, um, it's a lot of it's a lot of noise, and it'll make you a bit panicky when it does stuff like that. <laughs> uh, but as long as you don't stand still, you're good. Again, you want to get some terrain between you and the revenants, basically. Um, even like a you know, I've gone down a slight slope here. There's a little mound of dirt here. If I crouch and get behind it, they lose sight of you. As soon as they lose sight of you. Um, They'll try and use, you'll see a missile coming in there. They'll try and use caustic missiles um, to, to flush you out. But, they, but as soon as they lose sight of you they basically start cooling down and they'll go back to their patrol routes. You don't have to wait long at all. They're not patient in, by any stretch of the imagination. So if they lose sight of you they'll assume you've gone. They're quite short sighted anyway as you'll see in a moment. Um, and they head back to their, to their starting positions and then you're safe to approach. It 
So equipment wise, uh, as with all things elite, you want to be in as good equipment as you can possibly muster. Um, on this particular occasion, I'm uh, using a, a G5 Maverick suit and a G5 L6 rocket launcher. You you can get away with um, a G3 rocket launcher if you can level one up or um, get your hands on a pre-engineered one. Um, if you don't know how to find pre-engineered gear, we've made a video about that before, which I will link on screen for you now. If you've got um, a G3 rocket launcher, anything that or anything above, you'll be able to one-shot them like that. It'll take a couple of rockets to kill them otherwise. And they don't. Um, if you if you kill one of them, the others won't won't turn to investigate why Jeff the Revenant died or anything like that. They'll just they'll just carry on like like nothing's going on. They're not they're not super smart or anything like that. But they can be quite panic inducing, particularly when they gang up on you. Once once one of them is alerted, um, the alert tends to spread amongst them quite quickly in close proximity. Um, and when they are alerted, um, their eyesight seems to improve significantly. But as I say, if you can if you get out of sight, um, they won't see you. So, get to the command building is what I would recommend you do. That's normally what I do. We want the to, in order to finish the mission, you actually want the power building. But I just he I just head for the command building straight away because the first thing I need to do uh, upon arrival is clear the courtyard outside of any revenants so that you can move around quickly. If you're planning on boosting your combat rank, which we'll come on to in a second, you're going to need energy cells, you're going to need ammunition, and you're probably going to need medical packs at some point. The best way to find that stuff um, is to use your energy transfer tool, while the site is powered down at least anyways, to use your energy transfer tool on one of the terminals, which is what you can see me doing here. Once the transfer is done, you can search the exterior space at the settlement to find um, both ammunition and in this particular case I was after energy. And then it's time to meet the neighbours. When you first arrive at the site, you can expect there to be around 8 to 10 revenants patrolling. As I said, if you've got a, um, a level 3 or above L6 rocket launcher, uh, one shot will quickly remove them. As you can see, they're not particularly bothered by their friends exploding next to them. And their eyesight, at least when they're not alert, um, isn't great. They generate quite a bit of debris when they explode, um, depending on the um, gravitational situation on the settlement that you're um, killing them in. You might find there's quite a few bits of them. <laughs> <laughs> flying around afterwards. So here's the energy case I was after. I'm say, if you're planning on being here for quite a while it's useful to know where these are. So on the way back I noticed that there was two more revenants over to my left here. They're not too problematic. I do want to get back under cover however for reasons that will become apparent. those reasons I was talking about. Once you start killing revenants, um, after a few seconds uh, a dropship will arrive and it will drop off up to five revenants. 
It won't drop off any more than that, as far as I'm aware. I certainly haven't seen that happen anyway. But if it can, it'll deploy five revenants. It's not bothered with you either. It'll leave. Um, and as you can see there, it doesn't it doesn't care if you start killing the revenants that it's just dropped. It literally comes in, drops them, and leaves. And the plan really is to get the site completely clear of revenants at least once. So that then you've only got five, you've only ever got five to deal with. So you'll see um, in the background on occasions as well, you'll see um, clouds where scout ships are dropping in. Those are, are actually just, they're looking for vehicles. They're not bothered by you at all. So if you bring a, an SRV, they'll quickly kill that. If you leave your ship parked, they'll kill that. But they're not bothered with you. The Revenants, however, are very bothered by you when they're not busy exploding. Let me get that guy eventually. Quick scoot around, and that's us clear. So now I know I'll only ever be dealing with five revenants. Entering pressurized environment. So broadly speaking then, that's you clear to replace the power regulator whenever it suits you now. You'll only ever be facing five revenants. So at the top of this piece I mentioned you can also use these installations to increase your combat rank quite significantly actually. All you need to do, once you know where the power is, uh, the medical supplies are and the endless supply of ammunition, you can basically just sit here all day if you want to and keep killing revenants and your rank will go very very high <laughs> very quickly. It's obviously quite a grindy way of achieving um, combat rank but if that's your goal um, it's, it can actually be quite relaxing. If you do decide to log out at the installation, when you log back in you'll be outside uh, but right close to one of the doors and this is the view that you'll get. If you look behind you it'll be moderately horrifying but don't worry the Revenant won't see you. It'll just march off to its patrol route and you're then free to cut your way into the building again. Whatever you decide to do when it comes time to leave, there's no clean and easy way to get away without the Thargoids noticing you. Clear the courtyard one final time and then get as far away from the buildings as you can. Get some terrain between you and it and then call your ship in. If you've got the patience to get far enough away from the settlement the revenants won't see it. However, as it was the case here, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to wait and the revenants that had spawned saw it. Don't worry too much if the ship is tough enough it'll survive the ordeal and you can just get on board and get away. Under attack. Landing gear retracted. The ship being in the area will attract some of the larger Thargoids and so I wouldn't make any plans for hanging around. Once you're safely into orbit, target the destination you need to hand in the mission, head into hyperspace and you're done. I hope you found this guide useful. If you have be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you see all our content and if you'd like to help support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also become a patron just like the wonderful folks you see listed on screen right now. Gaining access to exclusive perks, content and community events. <laughs>